Hi guys, um, I know I haven't done a video for a long time, but um, Silly Silly Tom wanted to know how you can do rolling credits uh, using Premiere Element 7. So I just thought I'd show Tom how to do this um, for anybody else that might find it useful. Uh, so here I am in uh, Premiere Element 7, and I've got uh, a video I did a long time ago called the shout out to Vlogger Heads Friends. And uh, I decided that I wanted to end this video with a, a a rolling credit title. So the first thing I do is I grab my playhead, and this is before I do any uh, title using Premiere Elements. I just drag the playhead into an empty area of the timeline. Uh, this is because if I tried to work on the title and my playhead was over the video clip, it would confuse me. It, um, while working on it. I would see the video clip underneath and it would just confuse the design I'd probably work in towards. So the first thing is to just grab your playhead, move it beyond the clip, your video clip. Now to insert a rolling title, you go up to Title, New Title, and you have three options. The first option is a default still. This, uh, when you select this option, um, you get a static title, single static title, which you might want to, might also want to, uh, to select as well if you just wanted one singular title. The other option, the one we're going to look at, is called default role, which is going to do a roll-in credit title, which is going to go from the bottom of the screen to the top of the screen. The last option is the default crawl, and if you select this, you can get a title which goes from the left side of the screen horizontally across to the uh, le right side of the screen. So what you want to do is select the default row. So select title, new title, default row. When you do that it takes you into the title editor. Okay, And basically you've got a main title which will be the header of your rolling credit and then underneath that you've got all the extra uh, uh, credit, uh, rolling credit titles. You can select either one by selecting the selection tool which is to the right hand side of the monitor. So I click on the arrow here and I can select between the two uh, areas here. So if I wanted to edit the main title I would just double click on it and I get a cursor, flashing cursor. I can just delete that there by highlighting it and pressing the delete key or the backspace key and I can just type in something. Um, I'm going to just type in Vlog Head Shout Out. Okay. If I wanted to move this around the screen, I come back to my uh, tools here on the right hand side and I'll select my selection tool again and I click on it and I can just move it anywhere I want on the screen. So I'm just going to leave it centered, about centered there. When you want to work on the actual credits, just again, just double click in this bottom area here and you can work on the credits. Now as you can see by default you get a lot of credits um, sort of texture and it's, it's telling you where to add the text basically. What I typically tend to do is I highlight every bit of this press the delete key. So I'm going to scroll down to the bottom here, press the delete key and I just get a blank area here. I can sort of start from afresh uh, just makes it easier for me to work with basically. So I'm just going to type something like uh, I don't starring, and then I'm just going to type in um, people's names. So I'm going to type in silly silly Tom, um, silly silly Sally, um, Heather, uh, morphine. I can spell it, uh, Cindy, and you get the idea I can carry on uh, as much as I want to add there. So I could add another f another column here, I could say, um, or another section I should say, uh, I could say uh, sound editor or sound mixer, and then I could just uh, add in my name, track editor. Uh, so you get the idea, I can add as much as, as many credits as I want here, okay? When I finish with my credit roll, 
I want to edit it so it looks different from what it is now. Now, you may like it looking plain like that. I prefer to add my own style to it. So if I wanted to change the, the font, the way the text looks, the color, the style of it, you can do that very easily. So say I wanted to change the top area here, the, the heading area. Come back to my tools here. I'm going to select the selection tool, the arrow tool. Select this top bit. And if I come over to the right-hand side here, you can see I have tons of options here where I can change the look and the style of the text. If I want to do something as simple as just change the um, the, the font, for instance, I can click under this drop-down arrow here under Text Options, and I get a list of all the fonts on my system. I can scroll through them, and I have a ton of fonts on my system. You may not have as many as this, or you may have more than this. So I'm just going to select any font here, um, the Acme font. So I'm just select that, and that gives a nice sort of thick font there. I can do the same with the the credits themselves. I'll just select that area, and again I can move this anywhere I want to here. I can line it up right underneath here, and I'm just going to select the font, a different font to this, say the AR Julian font, maybe. Mm, yeah, maybe not. Um, try the uh, Alfredo font. No, I don't like that one either. So I'm just going to select the Arial Black font. I know that's a nice thick font here, okay? So again, I can change the font just using this uh, drop-down menu here, okay? Um, if I wanted to change the size of the font, I've got this Change Text Size slider here. If I slide it to the left, uh, it decreases the font size. If I slide it to the right, it increases the font size. So I'm just going to select something like that, okay? Um, I have various other options. Normally in a credit roll, these titles are sort of centered here. So to do that, I just selected Center Text button here. And now all the text, all the credit is centered. Again, I can move this around anywhere I want to. I'm just going to uh, uh, line it up under the header there. But in Premiere Elements, you also have predefined styles as well. So under Text Styles here, I've got a ton of different pre-made styles for me. So let's so select this one, which is the Hobo Medium Gold style. I'll click on it, and automatically it changes to that style for me. Okay. Similarly, I can do it with the uh, the header here. Just select it, and I'll change it to a different style here. So this uh, brush script wide style. Select that, and that changes the style there for me. I can change it to a different one if I feel like it. I've got all these styles to choose from here. Say uh, say this one. No, say. See this one here, quite like that one, yeah. So I'll select that one. So I really encourage you to sort of mess around with all these different style options here to get it just the way you want it to look. Okay, so okay, so say I finish now with my um, my credit roll here. If I look down in the timeline, I can see that the credit roll is just a clip, like any other clip in the timeline here. I can move it about. I can stretch it out. I can de uh, decrease the size of the clip, okay? I can move it anywhere I want in the timeline on any track I want. So if I just play it for you now, just play, you can see it scrolls from the bottom to the top of the screen there, okay? Now that I've gone a bit by too fast, so how can I make it uh, slower here? How can I make it scroll up the screen slower? All I need to do is select the clip, the title clip in the timeline, drag the cursor over to the right-hand side and stretch it out a little bit. The more I stretch it out, the longer it's going to take to get from the bottom of the screen to the top of the screen. The shorter the clip, the quicker it's going to be. So I'm just going to select about five seconds here, just to show you. Now if I hit play, it's now going up the screen, as you can see, much more slower than it did before. Okay. So be aware you can actually uh, adjust the, the how fast it goes as well. So if I wanted to put this credit roll down at the end of my video, I just select it in the timeline and just snap it to the end of my video clip here, my main video clip, which is the shout out video. So now if I hit play, uh, my video is going to end and the, the credit roll is going to roll up the screen here. Another thing I wanted to show you before I finish is you can actually put this on top of the video clip and the video clip underneath will show through. So if I select the clip here, drag it to video track 2 in the timeline right at the beginning here, 
now I hit play, you can see that the actual credit roll is rolling over my video, which is underneath. This is what I was talking about at the beginning, where I don't really want to work on my uh, title while the video is running underneath. It can actually confuse you, depending on what the video is. Okay? So, if I now wanted to go back to this credit roll and edit it further, add more text, change the look of it again, all I need to do is just double click on it in the timeline here. Just like that. And it takes me back to the selection window here. So I can change the, I can sort of delete your name there. Highlight it, delete it. Bring this name back up. Do whatever I want, okay? Whatever I want to do. Uh, so that's basically it. And I uh, hope uh, you've enjoyed this video. And I uh, hope it's given you some ideas of uh, how you can add a rolling credit to your movie. Bye-bye for now.